So one of the first videos I wanted to make on this channel is being an influencer versus being a network marketer. And what is the so difference? I kind of cut to the chase of the meat of the difference between being a beauty influencer and being involved in network marketing with your products. It's how much you want to help other people do what you want to do. So with beauty influencing, um, I send out active links all the time to customers and people on social media saying, hey, where can I get that? Where did you find that? What is that? Can you give me more information? I will send them an active Amazon link or a code from Lashes or whatever you guys know. I have a Lash channel. Um, that is in, that's beauty influencing. Um, it's small commissions here and there, and don't get it twisted. There's a lot of women that make tons of money off of beauty influencing with sponsorships, large checks. UGC content is where I create a video for someone that is in the beauty field or influencing field. I'm going to stick with beauty influencing because that's the point of my video. Um, so, and then they will give them a check for the video that they made. Um, network marketing, I'm going to just go into the meat of it is network marketing is I make a commission off my products. And then I also have the willingness and the desire for someone else to do the same thing with me and we create an income from that. So all of us are kind of sharing our information and we're duplicating what the other person does, what's working. Um, that's why you'll see a lot of, another really popular brand you'll see right now doing that is the Saint Beauty um, because they're on trend right now. So um, that doesn't mean there's not other very, very successful makeup products there is. So that's just the one that you're dominantly seeing in your newsfeed. And those women are taking what is working in the beauty field and they are telling each other and they're all doing the same thing and they're all replicating what they do. That is very interesting to me because I'm from the salon world and I like working with other people and talking about what's working, building together. That is like an atmosphere that's different than when you just send out personal links to what it is that you're sharing or, you know, working with a brand, they're going to tell you what they want you to do and then they will pay you. So that's kind of the difference in mindset that I would share with you. Um, with network marketing, the other thing that I just want to say, especially with beauty marketing, um, there is an, a component of influence that people just do not discuss. I'm going to discuss it with you because I was actually really frustrated with the first network marketing company that I was ever introduced to because they never discussed the aspect of influence and it, it, it really holds people back because and down actually. And I'm not blaming any particular group of people that are doing this. Marketing changes very quickly. So that is the other thing I will say. How one person built their business is going to be incredibly different how the person down the line three years later is going to build their business. However, with that being said, influence matters. And I will go into where do you get influence from? What career are you already in right now? What, are you, what field are you in right now? because that is the field that you should go into network marketing and start influencing. The influence and the authority you have absolutely matters. So once I kind of discovered that and I knew that I had to grow my social media because for my particular brand, the beauty influence um, and beauty marketing works very well on video. It works very well online. So that is the route that I chose to go. Other ways work too, so never never take what I say as this is the only way, because it's not. Um, it's the best way for me because I have authority as a beauty entrepreneur. I have had my own business. I've worked in hair salons. I have had exposure to the world's best products, literally. We have to have products to help people. So I'm very passionate, like we need good products, you guys. We need good products because we need to help people with our products. And I have that mindset. So when I got introduced to network marketing and they were like, hey, we have the best products. And not only that, you're gonna help someone else learn how to use these products and possibly in the long run, have them sell to other people too. That was so attractive to me as a business owner because we have to learn everything anyway. So why not be able to turn around and share that with somebody um, or help somebody in that way? 
And I know that it doesn't always go that way because you guys, I've been in network marketing for, it's been six years now, six solid years. I got into network marketing right after I had my second son. So I've seen it all. I've been in every training. Um, send me a message and we can laugh and chit chat about it because um, I just think of everything that I've been through with it and I don't think anything good or bad. It just has all made me who I am today. It's made what I believe in network marketing even stronger because I've seen how it can work. I've seen the best of it. I've been a part of the worst of it. <laughs> Literally one of my biggest downfalls honestly was the growing of my social media. I struggled with it for so long. I was always, what's that famous saying? Like a dollar short or something like that. I just always was one step behind on my social media. And not only that, you guys, I ended up having four kids in that journey. Well, I had I can't, I can't, I got introduced to it after my second son, but, um, and it was over the products, but I had a lifestyle difference than what my products were. And I had an authority issue with my products. So I am also very passionate about okay, fitness. So one of the differences with that was, is I got into network marketing with fitness but I was working, I had my own business in the hair salon. So when I was like trying to work on my marketing and my messaging, it just, there was some things that just were not syncing. So I actually did a test with my social media and I was like, what are these people looking to me for? And overwhelmingly it was beauty advice. So we'll go into this more on my channel. So make sure you click subscribe because this is going to really help you.